Hello, everybody, and welcome to a video on the strongest thing in Risk of Rain 2 almost all of the time. That's right, everybody's favorite virtual drug with absolutely no side effects whatsoever, the Spinal Tonic. While classified as a damage equipment, the tonic itself doesn't actually do anything, unlike the capacitor and all other damage equipments. Rather, it simply boosts, well, you by a lot. This means if you are, let's say, mechanically challenged, The tonic won't be able to help you much. However, so long as your name doesn't begin with a W and N and a Uli, you should be good because man oh man is the power tonic gives you insane. You may see its effect at first and say, I mean, sure, it's pretty good. Attack speed, move speed, armor, health, region, and damage are all pretty good, but the numbers aren't that high. 70% attack speed, that's like what, a little less than five syringes? Well, yes, but actually no. The boost tonic give you are all multipliers to your other stats. Their increases are not added that 70% attack speed? Yeah, that's an increase to all sources of attack speed, meaning each syringe you have now gives a whopping 25.5% per stack. And on top of that, your Zerker Pauldrons, Predatory Instincts, and Warhorns are also increased by 70%. 100% damage? Yep, that just straight up doubles everything. 30% move speed? More like a gigabutt ton. Obviously, such power cannot be obtained without a sacrifice, and after Tonic's 20 second duration wears off, there is a 20% chance that you receive an afflict reducing those same stats by 5%. The important piece of info here and why the tonic is not just a free win is that afflictions are stackable permanent items in your inventory. So every time you pop the tonic, you're always running the risk of lowering your stats further and further to the point where you have no mobility or HP to survive anything. And on top of that, each activation of the tonic has a chance to grant an affliction, meaning if you pop it, say 10 times on a single stage, even if you used all 10 in quick succession, you have the chance at getting all 10 afflictions as soon as the last charge of tonic wears off. Luckily, so long as you are under the influence affected by the tonic, any and all afflictions you have are entirely negated and you only receive the tonic's positive boosts. Simply put, the more afflictions you get, the more reliant you are on the tonic itself to keep you alive, trapping you in its endless habitual cycle. Don't do drugs, kids. Or maybe you can do so many drugs that you never experience withdrawals in the first place. That's right. If you can get the tonic's cooldown to 20 seconds or lower, you'll never receive an affliction in the first place due to the tonic's effect never wearing off. This also works if you had any afflictions before getting perma uptime, they will all be negated. The easiest way to get the tonic's 60 second cooldown to sub 20 is with one gesture of the drowned and at least three fuel cells or three additional gestures. Past the first stack, a gesture provides the same cooldown reduction as a fuel cell. You don't need a gesture, seven fuel cells alone will do the trick, but having the tonic automatically apply itself is highly, highly recommended as if you make one single mistake at an inopportune time you could get a huge stack of afflictions all at once and immediately die. Having at least one gesture removes this possibility entirely so long as you have the perma uptime. Now, can you use the tonic without perma uptime? Yes. If you're struggling and absolutely need a power spike in order to not absolutely get wrecked, much like in the background footage, then a tonic very well may be your savior. Even if you have zero cooldown reduction, the massive boost it gives you for those sweet, sweet 20 seconds may be the difference between continuing and ending your run. And I'd say not losing your entire run is definitely worth the small downside of one or even two or three afflictions. It's all about risk versus reward. See what I did there? Are you okay with holding on to a couple afflictions while you wait for a gesture and some fuel cells to pop up eventually? Take the tonic and only use it in absolutely dire situations. Do you already have a couple fuel cells but no gesture? How about just a gesture? Well, you don't have permanent uptime, but you do have significantly less than 40 seconds between each activation. Again, it may be worth it to pop a couple times here and there and risk an affliction or two. Speaking of afflictions, your luck stat affects the rate at which you acquire them. Higher luck means less chance, while lower luck means more. For reference, a single clover reduces the 20% chance down to just 4, while a purity raises it to 36. Maybe don't take a tonic without perma uptime if you have a purity. So if you have a clover and especially a gesture or a couple fuel cells for even more uptime, the chance of you getting an affliction is extremely low and you have a much larger safety net to pop the tonic with zero repercussions. The final thing I'd like to cover here is taking the tonic over something like a sawmering, missile launcher, prey on, and especially royal capacitor. In terms of active effect, tonic is one of, if not the strongest out of the bunch. 20 seconds of massively boosted stats that scale in effect with the more items you have is pretty hard to beat. However, once you do have perma uptime on the tonic, that's it. Multiple uses do not stack with one another. Instead, you'll simply keep refreshing that 20 second duration over and over and over. My recommendation is that if you have anywhere from very little CDR to exactly 100% uptime, which is one gesture, three fuel cells, then taking a tonic is a good idea. 
Anything past that point is not only overkill, but a complete waste. The more charges you have on things like capacitors and prions, the more direct benefit you receive, unlike the tonic. This is especially the case if you have a soulbound catalyst. Four seconds off of your 20 second capacitor shot is absolutely massive, and it only gets better with the more cooldown reduction you have. For example, with only a gesture, five fuel cells, and a soulbound, this is what the capacitor can do. But if push comes to shove, the spinal tonic is pretty much always a good equipment to pick up. And that does it for everything I wanted to cover on the tonic. What are your thoughts? Do you want to tell me how the tonic is always the right choice and I'm a big dummy for taking the capacitor? Let me know with a like or dislike on the video and a comment below. You can check out my stream at twitch.tv slash woolygaming and consider joining our Discord server as well. Thank you for watching.